Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the order of reaction experimentally. The problem says that in a reaction between A and B there are two reactants. The initial rate of reaction was measured for different initial concentrations of A and B. Here you can see that experimental data of reactant A and B is given and rate of reaction is also given. The question says that what is the order of reaction with respect to A and B. We assume that the order of reaction with respect to A is X and so with respect to B is Y. Then the chemical reactions becomes here we have X A plus Y B and so it is the product. And from this experimental data, we have to find out X and Y value. For this chemical reaction, we can write down the rate law. Rate is equal to, here is K is rate constant, and reactant, it is product of reactants, and so raised to power of their respective coefficient. Coefficient is X, here we have X, and so another reactant is B, and so here we have coefficient Y. This is the rate law expression for this chemical reaction. Now, we can plug in these values, these experimental data uh, in this rate law expression one by one. There are three experimental uh, data given here. We can plug in these values, then we can find out X values. Let's do it. In the first experimental, uh, experimental data, rate of reaction is 5.0, 5.07 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 is equal to K. And so bracket A value is 0 0.2, 0 0.20, and so raised to power x, and B value is 0 0.30, 0 0.30. Here we have y. We label it as a first equation. Now second experimental data is here we have rate of reaction 5.07 multiplied by 10 to power uh, minus 5, and so is equal to k bracket k bracket. Here we have 0 0.20 and the power x and so here we have 0 0.10 and raised to power y and it is the second equation and move on to the third experimental data the rate of reaction is 1.43 1.43 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 it is 4 and is equal to k bracket a value is 0 0.40 0 0.40 and raised to power x and uh, y value is that is the concentration of uh, second reactant here we have b value this is 0 0.05 this is the concentration of b and so raised to power y and so this is the third equation now by using these three equations we can find out x and y value first we divide uh, these two equations first and second because you can see that a, the concentration of reactant a is same in both equation and so rate of reaction is also same then uh, these values will cancel out and so easily we can find out y value here's uh, the rate of reaction in both equation is same when we divide we get 1 is equal to kk will also cancel out and so here's uh, it will also be uh, uh, 0.20 and so 0 0.20 will also cancel out as a result here we get 0 0.30 raised to the power y and upon here we have 0 0.10 raised to power y it can be written as 0 0.103 uh, 0 0.30 here we get 3 to power y now we can take log on both side to simplify it here we get log 1 is equal to and uh, y log 3 because there is a formula uh, a log a to power b can be written as b log to uh, log a that's the concept we applied here. Now, this is y. Log 1 value is 0. And so here we have y log 3. We don't need to put log 3 value because it will also become 0 when you transfer log 3 value on left side. As a result, y value is 0. Here we got y value. Now we uh, try to find out x value. We can pick up these two equations. Because y value is 0, once you put uh, uh, 0, uh, y is equal to 0, then this entire expression will be equal to 1 because x to powers 0 is equal to 1. This is the concept we apply. Now, yes, let's divide uh, 
uh, second equation by third one here we have 5.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 and at the bottom we have 1.43 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 is equal to kk will cancel out and here we have the top 0 0.20 to power x and so bottom we have 0 0.40 uh, to power x and so y section will become 1 now we can divide these values here we have the calculators 5.0 is divided by uh, 1.43 I just divide the numbers and uh, the value which we get that is 3.49 and 6 so it can be written as a 3.50 here we have 3.50 and division exponents are subtracted as a result here we get minus 4 plus a uh, minus 5 plus 4 is equal to minus 1 here we have 10 to power minus 1 is equal to here's 2 ja here 0 0.20 0 2 ja 0 0.40 as a result here we get 1 upon 2 to power x this value can be also written as 0 0.350 and so 1 upon 5 can be written as 0 0.5 and raised to power x so we can take log on both side here we have log 0 0.350 is equal to here we get x and log 0 0.5 now we can plug in the values better first to, uh, we transfer log on on uh, uh, left side as a result here we get x is equal to log 0 0.350 upon log 0 0.5 this is decimal now we can plug in the values here log values 0 0.350 and its log value is minus 0 0.455 it can be written as minus 0 0.4560 minus 0 0.4560 upon we can plug in 0 0.5 and its log value is minus uh, here we get minus 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.3010 minus minus will cancel out and we can divide these values here we have at the top 0 0.4560 and it is divided by 0 0.3010 and the value is get one point five here we have this is the fractional uh, order of uh, reaction x value we get this is the x value and this is the y value then we can plug in x and y value in rate like expression rate like expression here we get r is equal to k bracket a a two powers here we have one point five and uh, b two powers is zero thus we can say that uh, order of reaction with respect to a is 1.5 and order of reaction with respect to b reactant is 0 here you can see that how i calculated order of reaction for this chemical reaction thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams Please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.